Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. I trust you are all keeping well. Today's tying is the Olive and Peacock Nymph. It is one of my favourite nymphs and it is designed specifically for a top dropper. In other words, if you're using a two fly setup, the, the one above the point, um, the point may be another nymph or indeed it could be a perdigon. Now the materials that we're going to use are, this happens to be camel uh, tying thread, you could use olive, black, whatever you have. The body uh, will be olive hairs here and the collar will be green peacock. Uh, a rib of copper wire and this is uh, 018. And let's get set into this tying. As I said, this particular fly is uh, designed for the dropper. And it, for me, it's uh, a great all-rounder. And I believe that it can be tied in, in various guises. And I will show you some of those uh, a little later on in the tying. But this is uh, my favourite tying of this particular nymph and I do use it regularly. Let's uh, wind that thread down, just trim off that excess. Right, I'm going to uh, tie in uh, the copper wire for the rib. down the rest of the wire like that. Right. Now as I said the body is five hairs here and you don't want it too thick at the base of the fly. Graduate the Dubbing as best you can. And tighten it up as you go along. enough. Take off that excess and now wind on the rib to give the segmentation effect. Should helicopter off for a bit of luck. Yeah. And as I said, for the collar, uh, we're going to use some green peacock dubbing. Now, green peacock is made by many different companies. This happens to be hens. It is clearly green as opposed to bronze. and create the colour. There. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, glue onto the, uh, onto the thread for tying it down and for tying it off. and trim off the thread. Right now I'm going to brush out the, uh, the dubbing and the collar 
uh, just to create the leggy effect. But as always, just trim up some of the uh, longer fibers and hairs. Try and keep it in proportion to the fly. Yeah, that is the fly basically finished. Now, as I said, it is a, a fly that can be tied in, in various guises. Um, now, this is the same as I've just tied. Now, if you are using a, a 2.8 on the point flyer, then you may wish to go to a 2.3. Uh, this is a 2.8 nickel bead on a slightly lighter olive, uh, which I also tie. And this is a size 18 straight shank with a 2.3, just to demonstrate that it can be tied on a straight shank hook if you don't have a round end hook and you will still catch fish. It's a super little fly. It's one that uh, I do use regularly um, uh, above a perdigon. Um, I'm sure it will be equally as successful for you. Hope you enjoyed the tying. Um, Please, if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe, hit that bell, give it a thumbs up, and do pass comment if you so wish, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.